Welcome to the Games Freezer. Hello, this is Richard. This is GamesFreezer.eu and this is our 10 minute taster for a game that's currently on PS4. Um, this is the demo that's on the PS Store. Um, it's called Crossing Souls. Now, as you'll see in this game, it's taking a lot of 80s references. So you immediately you're into kind of Stranger Things territory, Goonies territory, Stand by Me territory. You've got uh, cool 80s cartoon aesthetics to it. Which I've fallen in love with immediately. This kind of VHS grainy look to the uh, the cutscene stuff, which is shot like a eighties cartoon, which is awesome. Um, there's a lot going for this game, and I have absolutely fallen in love with it. It is brilliant. Um, it's it's currently on demo. I don't think you can get it yet, but look at this pixel art. It's so cool. Like in the background, you've got. Um, Bit of Ghostbusters going on. You got your Nez on the uh, floor there in front of your CRT TV. Bit of Pac Man on the wall. You name it, it's all there. Uh, sp spaceships and all sorts. It's kind of everything I love about watching those cool films like Stand By Me. Everything I like about Stranger Things. Even the, the music's been incredibly well chosen. It's exactly like an 80s, uh, 80s film. You know, it's, it's spot on. So the 80s kind of film feeling is a Goonies type one. Uh, maybe a bit of E.T. thrown in there as well. Um, there's a bit of a, a nod towards the point and click adventures. In my opinion, it feels like... Um, point and click adventure sort of molded with a kind of platform action platformer um, and you'll find as well you've got some uh, um, kind of RPG style action RPG battling going on as you switch up between the characters kind of tactical uh, use of each of their strengths so basically your brother um, has escaped out the window uh, so he could uh, go and see something that he's found and he has got in contact with you, your Chris to begin with and your brother's name is Matt and Matt's got in contact with you to tell you to go and meet him at the treehouse because he wants to show you something I'm completely in love with these backgrounds I just want to sort of explore everything because there's so many cool little things dotted around um, and nods towards uh, old franchises, old uh, video games franchises you've got Icarus Boy there, so it's Kid Icarus I suppose um, and later on you'll find uh, some other really cool video games references it basically ticks all the box for anyone who's nostalgic anyone who likes retro gaming anyone who likes current generation gaming as well It's um, as you can tell, I'm pretty excited about this game because uh, I can't wait to buy the full version. Um, so yeah, so all is good. Um, it says on GOG that this already been released uh, maybe on PC. So I'm just looking on it uh, now. Upcoming action adventure in development by Spain-based indiv development studio Foratic who do a really cool um, intro actually, I'll cut that out of the video but um, there's like a really cool intro as you load the game up um, kind of 80s style flickery VHS intro which is pretty cool um, and published by Devolver who have got loads of great games on the, under their belts um, so it's actually scheduled for release on the 13th of February this year across um, across PC, Mac, Linux and PS4 as well um, I don't know if that's coming to Xbox One, surely it would I don't know how that works nowadays with Windows and Xbox One whether they line up the releases 
accordingly. But I'm just busy now um, looking around this house because there's so many cool things to have a little peek at. Um, so interacting with things is pretty easy. It's O button to observe or observe even or open a door um, to talk as well. It's all like done on the O button. So that's pretty cool. Nice and easy to use. Um, the running around feels good. Um, sometimes trying to line up with a door to open it can be feel a bit funny. I found that on this pl first playthrough. Um, and sometimes the R stick I found was um, flicked by me inadvertently, as you'll find out um, as we go through this uh, this playthrough of the demo. I won't take you all the way through the demo because there's some really cool stuff I don't want to spoil. I wanted to put it in there, I've got to admit, but um, I thought I'd let you find some of the cooler later things on the demo and also the the way it leaves the demo as well. It's um very good, very good teaser, good way of getting people in. I mean, I'm hooked and I can't wait till it comes out now. I'm uh, all over this one. And that's after uh, playing my Switch constantly for the last month or so with Mario Odyssey. So it's come at a good time actually. Just completed Mario Odyssey um, to the point where I've um, beaten the tougher versions of the Brutals. So um, I'm actually on the lookout for a new game to play prior to getting stuck into um, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Right, so we come outside into the garden. So your dad's waiting for you in the, in the garden. So let's have a little look around to see what we've got. Um, lawn mower, yeah, okay. Barbecue, nice. Mm, that's maybe one of barbecue. Bring on the summer. Yum yum. Okay. So Sparky died. Poor old Sparky. So Sparky will come back up into conversation later on in this demo but you won't see that because I cut that bit out so that can be a bit of a something for you to to look at right so let's have a chat with me dad oh your brother's name's Kevin I thought it was Matt sorry don't know why I thought it was Matt. Oh, Matt's the, uh, you'll meet Matt. He's kind of a geeky, geeky member of the group. So you got the classic stereotypes that you'll find as you go through the game. You got this, uh, this sort of stereotype of the cool guy who likes baseball. So, uh, this is Chris. You then got a, a nerdy character. That's Matt. You've then got uh, the fat guy. There's always a fat guy. There's a fat guy in Goonies. Uh, there's the fat guy in Stranger Things. You have to have a fat guy, don't you? In your uh, in your party. And yeah, there's a fat guy. I think it's called Fat Joe. Um, name of a rapper. Uh, you got a girl. The sassy girl is the kind of love interest for Chris. That is your dad pitching baseballs at you so as you can learn how to deflect hits. It's pretty cool. Well, they haven't used that yet, I've got to admit. So, um, we'll have to have a look, see when that actually comes into the gameplay. You use your baseball bat a bit, but, um, I haven't used a deflect yet. And um, what else have you got in your party? Right, and let's just cut to this. You've got profiles that you collect as you meet people and you talk to them and if they're key characters then a profile will drop into your inventory now your diary acts as the uh, mission uh, statuses of what you need to do so first one get the gang together and there you go with the profile so that's your dad John Williams and it gives a good little bit of insight I like that it gives you a bit more of a um, attachment to the characters. I think that's a really good touch. 
but yeah the way that works is brilliant I think I think it's absolutely fantastic um, this is your mum Nicole so she's obviously angry that your brother has sneaked out the window Kevin no mum ever likes you going into the woods do they let's face it Watch your mouth, young man. So it's brilliantly um, stereotypical of an Edie's mom and the house and the way they talk. I think it's uh, really well put together. It's nailed it. Basically, it's game for that, and it's nailed it. Okay, Nicole Williams. So that's your mom. How they met. Uh, she ran away from home, and she's now a. Uh, story writer and uh, novelist interesting I'm sure that will come into play as well as you go through the game okay so outside we go so we can start exploring so this obviously serves as a bit of a uh, tutorial as you start exploring you've got these uh, cool little cartridges that you can save your uh, games onto nice and retro absolutely love it so one of my ideas for a retro game if I could code or do anything like that was uh, a game called the collector where I would um, have someone running around trying to collect up all classic video games that have been stolen by an evil character called the collector and then you would then um, go after the collector and collect up each of the games so as to bring them back to everyone else rather than him hoarding them and that's the kind of thing I wanted to have like little um, cartridges dotted around that you collect put in your put in your knapsack and away you go and play as a young character so I'm glad this game has come out as kind of um, itch that itch for me of having some kind of pixelated homage to the cool games of yesteryear retro gaming community are going to love this it's a uh, it's a game that um, gives fan service to to a lot of our uh, retro gaming community so that's good news for everyone if you've got um, one of these systems you're going to need to get hold of it get hold of this game so you've got your usual suburbia by the looks of it beware of the goat hmm. can't get up there. There are some kind of unexplained invisible walls stuff but you'd expect that, you know. You can't completely explore everything. I thought I might be able to get around there but I couldn't. I think there's a fence in the way there. But it's a well realised pixel art world. I like it. It's got enough detail in it and it feels alive. Got Mr. Wilson there under the car. Could be a nod towards uh, is it Home improvement, the guy who never shows his face over the fence. Maybe this guy never shows his face from underneath the car. Dunno. We'll see how that pans out. If he's actually a character that's gonna mean something going forward. Right, okay. Here we go, what's going on here? I think it's time to meet Matt. So this is the nerd of the group. Yep, it's Matt. I've got his name right. Excellent. So Matt was the one who'd uh, um, amended our walkie-talkies so as we could get uh, range uh, over a few miles so as we can all talk to each other. So one of these little experiments has got out of hand. I'm just using my baseball bat to uh, stop the power flow. They use poof, poof, poof a lot in the... Uh, text it's kind of uh, I don't know is that how you say it poof poof poofed I don't know anyway sorry uh, okay so we met up with Matt now that that basically is a second member of our party so he's obviously got his own um, skills he's got a laser gun and he's got these kind of jet pack shoe things, I think it's a sh sh his shoes that kind of uh, shoot out um, a jetpack so as you can uh, so as you can go to higher levels 
and make bigger jumps and hover into them. So let's meet Matt's mum and dad. So Joshua is his dad and he's obviously a kind of crazy scientist. Uh, Mr. Technology. And his mum is a biologist. So obviously more from the natural side of science. So as you can see, the, uh, the room seems to be split into his side and her side. Got a little fish tank there. I never, didn't notice that before. I just love the detail. And the detail in the background is brilliant. So here we go. Joshua Bauer. So this is Matt's dad. A uh, German scientist. Received the Albert Einstein National Science Award. Uh, 10th World Congress Artificial Intelligence held in Austin. Joshua met a biologist named Heather. And that's obviously Matt's mum, Heather Bayer. So she's a respected lecturer um, and a biologist. Okay, and she was transferred to Tajunga, which is the name of the uh, town we're in. And that is where they made their home. And Matt is an only child. So you've got like a little, little Apple Mac sitting there on the uh, on the desktop. So this is kind of a nod towards the invention of the internet. Allowing these computers to talk to each other. Right, okay, so we've met Matt, we've got Matt on our uh, little expedition as we get the gang together and as you can see his little uh, shoes allow you to zoom up those ledges. It's the usual kind of thing of ledges are uh, tough to reach. You know, you'd think in real life you'd be able to make it but each character will have to use their skills to make higher ledges so Chris can jump and then hold on to certain surfaces with O so he can also leap from one surface to another as well so you basically jump with X press O to get onto the surface jump O jump O there you go happy days easy easy so now we've got Matt, who can do his leaping ability. So again, another part of the uh, of the tutorial that we'll see. Oh. My skills are being tested. Oh, I'm not that great. Oh. oh. So this is because. The right analog stick does like a dash maneuver, so that's why I kept falling in the water. So that must be the hermit that your mum has warned you about um, in the earlier scene. Although I don't think we get to see him again in this playthrough. Anything in there? No. Bet that becomes open at some point. Okay, so we've got to get up these uh, bits here, easy enough. No need for rocket shoes on that one. There we go, right, okay. So let's use Matt and his ray gun to see if we can uh, get rid of this scarecrow target thing. There we go, nice and easy. Right, let's see if I can get through these with the baseball bat. Happy days. Anything in these bins worth collecting? Nope. Nothing there. Right, okay. So, got an automatic radar on L2. It targets the closest objective. You 
kind of stand and fire. Objective is the wrong word, is it not? Object. This is not showing you where the next objective is. That seems a bit odd. Anyway, I kind of get what it's trying to do. So it kind of anchors you so you can be a bit more accurate in your shots. Especially with the laser gun. Right, here we go, there's a load of rats. Oh. Something tells me it's going to be tough to deal with them with this. Ray gun. Let's see if I can fire down on them. Oh, I've only got a bit of life left. Ooh, half a heart, quarter of a heart. Ooh. Okay. So if you die there, then you're taken back to the last um, save point. So I'll fast forward it back to this point again after playing it through. And realise that it's easier to deal with these rats with the baseball bat because it's got more of a sweep on it, easier to just mash them out. So that's something I've learnt at least. Right, okay, so on to the next bit. Looks like as we've got a gate to get through. Oh, there's a heart. So it is worth bashing those up because there are things in them every now and again. Anything else around here? No, okay. Right, let's get Matt's gun onto this. Easy enough. Away we go. Now we're on the back end of the uh, town. So that storm they keep talking about, which was in the opening uh, cutscene, is the kind of reason that this story kicks off in a particular direction. But this is spot on. Got an arcade. <laughs> See what references we've got in the background. Hmm. Um, Got a Pac-Man machine there. Next to Wyatt. What else have we got? Code Wars. One just called Arcade. That four player one could be Gauntlet maybe. They've got a missile command down at the bottom there, I think. Um, anyway, the arcade's out of action, so we've got to try and see if we can fix the switch for Wyatt. So there's one cool arcade. Groke machine in the corner. G-Bike. Is that like Enduro Racer, maybe? Okay, right, a little puzzle to solve. Shoot at these little things with a ray gun. Ooh. That's what I did find hard, just trying to get get my character in place sometimes was a bit tough. Brilliant. Right, I saved a new video game. So dotted around the levels are these hidden video games in these chests. And then once you get one, it goes into your inventory. So let's have a look. Collections at the bottom. Window Breaker Boy. So in other words, Paper Boy. Spot on. It's really cool. So it gives you a little bit of a synopsis of what the game is about which is basically Paperboy I think that's brilliant I'm looking forward to collecting more of those it's pretty awesome as you can see there's tapes there and uh, VHS's as well so we'll see what comes of that right so to hit that third one I need to get on that platform hmm okay so my rocket boots can't go that high so that's no good can't make it with the uh, normal jump from Chris Matt's boots won't allow him to get across so let's see if I can fire at this angle cross up to that top left 
can't get the accuracy. It doesn't look as though it goes high enough either. No. Alright, so basically I get stuck here for a good few minutes. So it's not happening. The actual answer to it is pretty simple, but um I'll let you have a look at how I went about it and how I failed miserably on a number of occasions but on a speeded up <laughs> so yeah there was lots of jumping around lots of firing at angles firing from the top firing from the bottom right hand corner getting in the corner changing to try and hit it with a baseball bat jumping around and trying again with baseball bat and then eventually I worked out that if I just do a hover jump just about make it and then fire off the gun simple <laughs> so yeah that was a bit of a bit of a blunder but there you go that's what these games are about you just got to kind of work out the mechanics and how that applies to the puzzles and then eventually you'll get there and I did and now the arcade's working again which is all good even though Wyatt won't give you any credit he thinks he's done it all himself god damn it Wyatt you're a genius I'm sure you are mate arcades look good though trying to work out which one's which I've got another profile now of Wyatt. So let's have a look at him. Age of 12, Wyatt saw a strange arcade machine known as Pong. Pong. For the first time, he got obsessed with it, saved every cent, got a load of arcade machines, buy 20 of the best machines, opened his video game sanctuary, Invaders Arcade, and he now controls the gaming industry in Tanjuana. Awesome. It's really cool. Let's have a look at the Grok machine. Ah, there's nothing better than a nice cool Grok. I wonder what that machine is coming soon. This game's hardcore, but he ain't playing it by the looks of it. He's just jumping up and down about it. He looks like he's playing Outrun, that kid there, with the steering wheel. There you go, right, okay. So, I'm going to leave you there because I don't want to spoil too much of this awesome game, but I'd recommend picking it up, giving it a go yourself. The demo's on PS4 um, at the minute on the PlayStation Store. www.gamesfreezer.eu